My name is Ilan Haimov, and I'm a partner and the department head of the Profit Participation Group at GHJ. Welcome to our latest video cast on key motion picture trends and performance indicators. Joining me today is my partner, Peter Klotz, and my colleague, Grace Gunnan, who together have led our latest film analysis, yielding many key performance indicators and other industry trends. I'd like to welcome you both. Peter and Grace, we'll be sharing an overview of the analysis with some of the results. Uh, there's so much more information that we can share uh, offline, but we wanted to give you a glimpse of the data and the analysis that was done. So Peter, why don't you get us started? Thank you, Ilan. The catalyst for this deep film analysis was to have more reference points for our participation audits, especially when the industry is becoming more vertically integrated and market data is less readily available. Our data is from a sample of theatrically released films in the past decade. It includes activity through 2021 with a minimum of four years of distribution to better represent the ultimate film life cycle. Our analytics include territory, budget, release year, media, and other variables. To appropriately classify revenue streams, television includes all paid streaming, exploitation, while digital downloads and rentals have their own groupings. My colleague Grace will kick off this bite-sized preview of the analysis. Thank you, Peter. This first KPI looks at the revenue broken out by different medias uh, split out between domestic and international. The various markets we're looking at are theatrical, television, which includes streaming, home video hard goods, so DVDs and Blu-rays, and transactional video on demand and some ancillary markets. And we're looking at the comparison between the domestic split and the international split. The big takeaway from this KPI is that television is much more prominent in the foreign markets, while home video is considerably a bigger piece of the pie domestically. Physical home video is virtually non-existent in many international territories, which would explain that home video is a smaller piece of the pie on the international side. These results are consistent with our last study, except that on the digital side, transactional VOD and EST have increased. This KPI shows average conversion rates for each media market as a percentage of box office. Our data can easily adjust to estimate a film's ultimate performance based on theatrical box office. It's important to note that this analytic represents historical performance. Currently, digital consumption dominates as the home media market has shifted away from physical goods. You will also notice that there's a big dip from international to domestic in the theatrical bar. Why is that? That's mostly due to China, UK, and some other territories having significantly lower theatrical film settlement rates. We can, of course, do a much deeper dive, as Ilan mentioned, based on genre, film budget, and film type uh, to customize an ultimate analysis. This next trend analysis looks at the trend of domestic home video markets comparing um, electronic sell through, transactional VOD, and hard goods, uh, so your DVDs and your Blu rays, and the, the shift in those markets from titles released in 2011 to 2013 and titles released in 2016 to 2018. So the overall trend is that hard goods are shifting more towards digital and there's a reduction in the hard goods market. However, which was a surprising finding for us is that hard goods still dominate the home video market. This trend does continue to shift away from the hard goods and more into the digital markets. So we hoped you found the summarized preview interesting for deeper insights into film performance, ultimate cash flow projections, or evaluating transactions, contact us to continue the discussion. Best way to reach me is at pclass at ghjadvisors.com. Uh, that's also the same for Grace as well as Ilan. Thank you both for giving us a glimpse. I mean, I'm gonna use that word um, of, of the uh, tremendous effort that you put in over the last couple of years in putting the analysis together, which really strengthens a proper participation audit, but also provides valuable information for clients uh, who may uh, need access to high level information. And again, um, thank you both for participating in this video cast and thanks everybody for tuning in.